Good day, and today we are going to cover how to copy an existing page and use it to create a new page. That way you can leverage all the existing styles and keep things consistent. This page here is a good example because it's got these unique sections at the top. It's got the, uh, the sort of text styles here, the heading styles, these unique sections, these cards here. But something you wouldn't copy over to a new page would probably be the list of staff because that's very unique to this page. And so to copy it, what you would do is you'd hop over to the dashboard and you would go to your list of all pages. From here, it's pretty easy. Um, you would, and there are plugins that let you copy pages here and duplicate them and clone them. Those are handy, but with Divi, a much safer way to do it is to use the built-in Divi function. So you just go to add a whole new page. And what I like to do first is to give it the title. So we'll say my new awesome page. And then we'll go to use Divi Builder instead of the Gutenberg default. And then following the instructions here, I'm just going to hit publish actually. Um, so that way it's made live. And then you're greeted with this welcome from the new page. So we've got the build from scratch, which is what we did for the other pages when we originally made them. Choose from a pre-made layout if you just want to go with a, a Divi landing page for some inspiration or to speed things up. We're going to go with clone existing page. And that brings up this list of our existing pages, which will make it very easy to clone them. So here we are, and it was the about page that we wanted to clone. So we're just going to click on that one. See our lovely progress bar. And then what it does in the background right now, it's going to that other page. It's pulling all those sections and colors and styles and placing them on our page inside of our Divi framework. So now you can see um, it's nearly all the same, um, except you can see now we've got this one big list for this section. Uh, and some things aren't quite right, but it's very close. So we're going to go ahead and hit publish here just to make sure that that is, uh, is properly saved. Could save draft if you don't want it to be publicly viewable yet. But the reason that this is in uh, one big section now is because we did have some custom styles. Uh, you can see it's like two column. If you have custom CSS inside Divi, that doesn't copy over. And so whether or not you built the page, whether or not you know what that code does, the second step to cloning a page in Divi is to hit the three dots menu and the gear, going to advanced and custom CSS. And then you can see there is some code here, so we can just control or command A to select it all and copy, and then control and command C to copy rather. And then in my new awesome page, click the gear here, go to advanced custom CSS, you can see that it's blank. So if we control command V, now we get all the styling back, hit the check mark, and now it will be exactly as it was over on that other page. Um, one other thing that can happen, it doesn't happen on this site. This is looking like a, a perfect carbon copy, which we can now tweak and change and do whatever we want with because it's a whole copy. But uh, if you're on a different, uh, I'm just going to go to edit page here. If you're on a different theme, different site, sometimes there will be different uh, page layouts in place. And so I found that if you go to page attributes, um, default template happens to be fine in this case, but if you've got a uh, custom theme going on, it can sometimes include these other templates that uh, will put your Divi stuff inside a box or include sidebars or make the header look weird. So sometimes you just gotta play around with it. There's uh, one that's usually called 100% width, uh, blank page, there's default template. So just the, the names change, but if you're using straight Divi like we are on this site, default template should be more than fine and, uh, and produce this exact carbon copy result. And so now if we go to the permalink and click on the URL of this guy here from my new awesome page, you can see it is exactly the same with all the styling and links, buttons, exactly as it was on the other page. And it can be tweaked and edited and linked to as we desire. That's all for today. I hope this helps and I hope you have an awesome day. Cheers.